So if it's got an interesting title, but it doesn't look very good, then it's, it's about a 50-50 shot of whether I'm going to spend some time there. And it, it would really have to be a great title. Because I mean, the thing with poster sessions is, at least the ones that I've been to, they're late in the day, or when I go to them, they're late in the day. And so you're tired. You've probably been at a conference all day. You've been listening to talks all day. You, you're just sort of on information overload. And so when you get to a poster session, your, your brain is a little bit tired and you want sort of easy. You want easy on the eyes, easy on the mind. So you're looking for things that are appealing. So if, if something is very cluttered and you see a poster where there's just a lot of text, there's very tiny font, there's a lot of data that's not very coherent, uh, you know, your brain just doesn't want to work that hard late in the day. You want, you want things that are very clearly represented so that you'll, you can go and get the information and decide quickly if you want to discuss this more with the presenter there or if you just want to move on and find something else. Now here is the poster that is, uh, we already looked at the title, it's called Quadrature Encoder for Drilling Rig Drawworks. Notice how it's made. It is a PowerPoint presentation that's been printed out and put onto poster board. This is the old way of doing this. So first of all, we do tend to go to the top, generally to the top middle. They do have the title there and they have the people who made it with the class that it was made for. Not bad. And then where do we go? Well, most of us tend to be drawn to the figures. And there's this interesting figure-like thing over on the right. It was actually tacked at one point. I put a binder clip on it. But it's, it's a bunch of AutoCAD um, printouts describing what this design is. Now, in general, AutoCAD is used for two purposes, design and manufacturing. It's really not a good way to discuss information here. It would take a while for someone to figure out exactly what this is doing because we probably don't need all of those values. We, we don't know exactly what this looks like at this point. So this is what we see first, but we really don't know exactly what, what they did. We don't know what this project is about yet, even though we've been drawn to this figure. But then we sometimes move to the next figures if we're willing to invest some time here. And the other figures we see is what's called System Overview for TMC. And this figure is meant to be an overview. We can see a PC over on the right, and we can see this design, but we really don't know exactly what this is. We don't have a context for it. And we don't know what TMC is. And then beside it, we have System Overview for Instructors, which leaves out a bunch of people who are in the audience. But we know that the top left is going to be the introduction. We just know that intuitively. And here we learn that TMC is the mud logging company. We get the problem statement. Um, and it explains what an encoder is and why they're going to do it. And then they have their deliverables, what they were going to give to the, to the client. Then they have how encoders are used, which is good information, how an encoder works. I, um, we had a, some spill issues here. Uh, so there's some good information on this poster, but we still really don't know exactly what they were doing. The poster takes a bit too long to figure out. We would have to talk to the people, get them to try to explain what they did, probably have to say something, ask pretty basic questions. Can you tell me exactly what, what you did? what your project was about because we're not able to figure it out just from the poster. Here we have another poster and this was a group of mechanical engineering students who did a project on um, for an ASME comp competition where they had to design a Mars rover prototype that had some specific objectives to be able to overcome obstacles, pick up rocks, and deliver rocks. So they have right in the middle, they have their design, and that's what we're drawn to. They have a figure right in the middle of the poster. So that's what we're drawn to first. And notice the text we see around it. 
project objective. That's really what we want. We want to be drawn to it and learn exactly what the project is. And they have some good text boxes put into their photograph of their robot. It looks nice. We know what the pieces are. We don't have a scale for it, which is bad. Now the background, some people say it's difficult to read the text. I, I tend to agree. Notice the different sections. We have their competition results over on the right, and we generally do want to see results on the right. We have the methodology and introduction over on the left. So this is a poster that's, that is laid out pretty well. All right, well, very quickly, if I approach somebody at a poster session, the first thing I want to know is findings, if it's a professional conference, because that's what's important to me. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to gather information for my field and for my work, so I need to know findings. I need to know what was important about the results. What were the implications of the results, and how does this impact what I do day to day? That's what I'm looking for. And in the end, I think that's what a poster is really for. It's, it's just a very quick way to report your findings. It, it's clear. We know where to find things. We don't have to read it in sequential order because we don't. We tend to look right in the middle for figures. We look at the title and then go straight to whatever figure grabs our attention. So this one has its methodology down at the bottom and it describes the different pieces and says the different parts of the robot and um, why they chose those that design. So it's a, it's a very clear poster. There may be a bit too much text on it and that results table on the right is really difficult to read. It's too small. So I don't advise doing that. And th they have they have chosen to use text instead of figures. They have one very clear central figure, but they could really use more figures, even to describe the methodology. And this results table needs to be much smaller. We don't need everybody's results. We only need theirs, which is what they highlighted in yellow. Um. I can't help it. I'm going to look for visually appealing. Do, do they have five different colors of fonts? You know, things that are just going to hurt my eyes. Where if I come in to read this, is it going to be work for me? It's going to be a real chore to try to mine the information out of this. I don't have the time or the energy for that usually when you're walking through a big poster session. So I'm going to start um, looking at pictures and hopefully there's a nice overview diagram somewhere right in the middle that can give me the big picture of this study. Even if it's not something that they built, if it's not a system, there still should be something in a prominent position, probably in the middle, that gives me a big picture of this study. So that's the first place I'm going to look. Um, and then from there, if I have questions about how they did things, I guess that will sort of dictate where I go next. I might go straight to findings. If I think I got it, I know what they're doing, but I want to know what happened, I'll go to findings. If I'm a little unclear as to what really they're trying to do, I'll go to an introduction or some background section, or maybe I'm suddenly interested in the methods and I'll go to the methods. So it, it, it sort of depends on what questions I have at that point. But probably an overview and findings are going to be the first two that I'll typically go to on a poster.